Well, right. It was probably the biggest personal news of the week for Donald Trump, uh, saying how he was going to divest his business interests around the world, pass the baton to his sons. Uh, then there were the details, and the details that didn't obviously suit the federal ethics chief. Uh, it was highly critical, which is highly unusual. And now they want hearings with that guy to find out, wait a minute. A, you can't do this, and B, what, 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 what are you saying here? Are you giving out bum information? So much we don't know, this much we do. Guess who's back? Jamie Colby, Strange and Harry Post, kicking off next Friday. Man, oh man, I don't know what I'm more excited for, big inauguration or the return of that incredible show. Jamie, good to see you. You don't have to choose, Neil. You could watch them both in one night. Really? I missed you. Well, there we go. Absolutely. There's, Friday, my day January booked. 20th. My, my day is booked. Um, this, I, I do want to talk about Strange and Harris, but I do want to get your take on the ethics chief, if you can. I mean, this is just the latest thing that those in power, intelligence agencies, the ethics chief, they are coming down hard on Donald Trump, or at least giving the appearance of going back at him when he says something. Uh, I mean, I know he's a Washington outsider, but the Washington insiders are chomping at the bit to make his life hell. I can only answer you as an attorney. I happen to be licensed in the District of Columbia and many other places, as you know. You know what I don't understand, Neil? I was very impressed with the legal advice. It sounded like Donald Trump got our president-elect. It sounds like he's very well informed on the rules. So what does he do? So far, no appearance of impropriety. So far, no criminal case or any law has been broken. He sets up not only no foreign further investment, but a two-tier clearinghouse of any domestic deals. His, his situation is different than someone like a, a Rex Tillerson because Exxon doesn't dissolve when he leaves. Oh, I see the Trump saying. name yeah. is the brand. So I think the situation is different. I don't really understand why the ethics chairman would be testifying at this point. There's nothing really to testify about. The president-elect and the vice president, when they're sworn in, are exempt from the rules that he's trying to apply. Change the law if you're not happy yeah, about it. Yeah, you just read my mind. You change the law if you're not happy because it is a little weird where the big guy, you know, gets a pass, even though he has done everything to avoid that, and his cabinet does not. Let me switch gears a little bit to your fine show coming back. Um, you discover the weirdest things and people, the, the kind of stuff they have in their attics or basements and uh, that could be invaluable. Uh, but how do you reach these people? How, do, they, do they phone, call, email you and your staff and say, hey, I've got this item and how do you verify and do all that? Well, first, I want to tell you, I didn't take anything along the way. You always ask me when I come into the studio, did I grab a little bit of this yes, or that that's valuable? And no, that's everybody kept their say, stuff. But you, okay? I would not pass Some up the opportunity to just up. sort of take the Magna Carta, you know, and, but that's me. I tried to get it for you. You know, we did find the original rules of basketball, two sheets of paper that actually launched the game when it used to be played in peach baskets. Wow. You're going to love that one. We have puppets that, are, that sing opera that are really valuable and even a priceless penny. I'm bringing you it all starting Friday, January 20th at 10 p.m. But, Phenomenal. Neil, you know what? The thing I'm the proudest of, more than a third of the stories in our 28 episodes coming in season three came from you guys, the viewers, and I love showing up at your house. It's oh, been it's a awesome. privilege it's awesome. to meet I these I did worry about families. your safety, though, a few times when someone would say, yeah, come on down into the basement and I'll show you. You know, I was worried for you. The handcuff collection, Neil, the sure. handcuffs, the right. John Brown shackles. I remember that distinctly. Well, they sold well. And that family did very well, and it was interesting. We learned we learned a lot this year. I have the best crew ever. We've traveled. Does the to crew go down with you? They never let you cities. alone. Don't, Jamie. Do not go down in the basin with that guy, right? Well, I call you if it's a problem, yeah. okay? Because I know my mom checks in with you. Right. I even went across the pond this year, Neil. I made it back. I can't wait to visit with everyone Same here. and show you what we've got. And they can still write me, Jamie, at strangeinheritance.com. Awesome. And we'd love awesome. to come and awesome. sit at your dining room table. I'm looking forward to it, kiddo. You're great Neil, at this. The show's great. New year, new look. New year. Oh, I like the glasses. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching.